Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Let's Play Sid Meier's Railroads. Actually, I forgot the name of there for a second. In the last video, we started building up our network. We are starting to work to buy out Jay Gould. He controls the green track, which is all the way down here. He has created a massive disaster around Baltimore and D.C. So my first task is to get rid of him. And then we'll work on getting rid of everybody else. Let's go to the victory screen. So we have to have an economic empire uh, and attain a net worth of 20 million. We should do that this episode. And also move a hundred carloads of steel from New York. So that'll happen this video too. Also buy everybody out. So let's go ahead and oh, yeah, hit that. And we'll uh, double speed. There we go. Perfect. Harrisburg now needs automobiles. Now, um, okay, I may have to go after Vanderbilt here shortly because if he is taking my car, my, um, oh. Um, Eastern PA is needing oil. And there's actually oil just down the track. So I could double up the track and just send something over to here to get that going. That'll produce some manufactured goods that I can run back to New York. Allentown also needs oil, so I could do that as well. Um, this bugs me, though, quite a bit. That Vanderbilt has a track here. Washington Refinery. I'm not doing anything with the refinery, but it would be a good pickup. Actually, if Jay Gould gets it, it's just as good because he's the one who's produce who's sending stuff to it, and I can just run a little track over here to collect the oil. All right, now I'm going to make money off of what he brings in. That's a good thing. So there's the refinery. I'm getting about 4,000 per delivery load of his goods to this place. And I'm just taking it to Baltimore. I'm just running stuff back and forth. Let's actually, how's this train doing? Uh, let's actually upgrade him to a... Oh, we won't have the... Uh... Oh, I apologize. I thought we had the new one out yet. Um, the 280 Consolidation. Yeah, I'll put a bid in for it. I doubt it'll do anything else with it, but... Yeah. Vanderbilt is... Uh... Yeah, so as long as Jay Gould gets it, I'm fine. I think Vanderbilt has a train that is taking... Um... My steel. Or taking my cars from Reading. And that's a lot of money I could be pulling down. Alright, and... Manufactured goods prices are going to start going up now. Okay, so Jim Fisk is also expanding up this way. When you get into the later videos and the later okay yeah i almost need to pivot and go to fisk but fisk will actually i'll get him when i get jay gould so that's fine because him because he's taking all of the steel out of he's taking all the coal from this all right good gould's buying into me he's taking all the coal that's available here and taking it down to atlantic city i need to go into new york so he's actually impeding my progress for this. Oh, good. He's buying up my money. I like it. The power plant in Philly. Am I delivering for this? No. I'm just ignoring that one. Oh, he's buying all my monies. He's Oh, go for it, Jay. See what happens. Okay, so I own, yeah, I own the newspaper and the steel mill here. That's fine. I think I own the paper mill here. Yes, I do. I should buy the food plant, actually. But there's another... All right, I got my 20 million. So that gets me this one. So now I just got to move the carloads of steel. And the only way I can do that is if I get rid of Fisk. Because that's going to uh, give me control of... Uh, solid control of this again. Okay. Now, I need Ghoul to buy out the rest of my stock so I can buy him out, then turn around and buy Fisk out. Yeah, this one, he's doing four, and he's just... I'm only getting two carloads each time right now. Right, uh, let's see. There is coal way up here in Scranton. I could run a track out to that, but it would also impede this eastern uh, objective. Hmm. No, 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 I can make this work. Hang on. 
I'm gonna loop it around this way. I'm gonna try to do it without building any structures. There we go. Select a train, just to go here. And I'll do five. For that, I will change it up so it's a mogul, not a ten-wheeler. Get the right train for this uh, mission. Building now needs automobiles. And the only place that's producing them is right here. And Vanderbilt's taking all my train uh, is taking these guys, so I think he's delivering them all to Harrisburg or to uh, or it could be New York. Alright, come on, Jay. Keep buying me. Then again, it is a possibility because I'm not transporting a lot to this location, I'm not getting a lot out of it. That's something I have not considered yet. And that mine annex will get bigger as time goes by. Oh, sweet. There's a consolidation. That's going to give us a um, better traction on larger trains. So I actually do that here. Let's go ahead. You're a mogul. Let's upgrade you to a consolidation. New York, Washington. I'm going to keep you because you're just doing passenger loads. I need to go to this. I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna upgrade everybody. I'm actually gonna leave the Scranton one. I'm gonna leave him as a mogul. I don't need him doing much more right now. Let's go ahead and try to lure J Gold in. Come on, buy up one of my stocks. Now when you have everybody buying everybody else, it gets a little more complex. You've got to pay more to buy out somebody else's shares of another company. I'm going to let him get this, because I'm going to buy him out as soon as the bidding's over. All right. We're going to get livestock prices increasing now, so it's down here at 13000 Just watch it climb up. Alright. And I'm probably going to break the game when I do this, when I buy out Jim Fisk. Alright, he bought more of it, and that's good. Yeah, I'll go for that. I'll wait till the uh, the auction ends, and then I'll buy him out. So I've got or I've got the money. And I should get the uh, bridge patent. If it's Fisk that gets it, well, he's going to be easy pickings here in a moment anyway. Uh, liquidating his railroad is going to give me $2 million in cash. I'll absolutely get rid of it because it's it's just hideous. Alright, Jay Gould was dominated. He is shit. So now we only need $3 million to buy him out. Let's do that. Liquidate him. Atlantic City Steel Mill? Have at it. I ain't going to send another damn truck. I'm not going to send another train load down there. So the Newark Coal Company is going to be delivering all this for me. I'll most likely expand Newark and kind of uh, oh, wait. I can do this. Let's do this. And then I'll do this here in Newark. Hopefully you see where I'm going with this already. I'll do this. Link it up. Perfect. Because I now own... Actually, don't, I don't own the food plant, but that is something great that we can produce. So I will pick up this load. I'll do this and go here, keep it there, but I'm going to kick it down to a mogul because I don't need a ton of food going around all the time there. The New York Steel Mill is now medium size, so we can hold up to 10 and produce more. Vanderbilt suddenly is not looking so hot. He does have a ton of stuff scattered around here. I also have this in Washington, so I got to get to Frederick Oil and Gas as well. Let's go ahead. I'm going to lay out a third track here. I believe the game allows you to go as wide as four on tracks, and I haven't mentioned this so far, and I do apologize. Um, if you've gone and looked at the game on Steam since I've started doing this series, you notice that there is that there are some negative reviews on it because um, you can't do uh, a bit of a dub. The game will actually crash after a certain amount of time, and I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain why here in a moment. 
what happens with this game is that there's only um in how the game was originally done there's oh what's the word for it it only allows up to like x amount of ram to be used in the game which is fine but with newer computers that amount is much higher than what the game currently supports so the reason my game has not crashed yet is because there are because i've actually done a patch um I need to find the link for it, and if I have found it, I'll put it in the description. If not, you may just have to ask me, hey Steve, where's this link you're talking about? Because that way, you can... I'm gonna double up here real fast. That way, uh, if you do want to play this game in the long term, you can. I'll actually buy. I'll actually try to buy this plant, because he's doing a ton of work down here. I'm also going to buy that last little bit of stock. Alright. Coal prices are going to drop. That's fine, but automobile prices are still high. And the only price that the only place that he crosses. Um, yeah, I will fight tooth and nail to get this one. I see a train from Vanderbilt heading to Reading. I will destroy him. <clears throat> Let's see if I can lure him in. Absolutely worth getting that because it means you're not spending as much on trains. <coughs> Alright. So, note my steel mill is now doing wonderfully. Uh, my food plant. What is this guy doing? What's his route? Okay. So I actually need to start moving food between New York and Newark. Or, better, I could run it down to Atlantic City. I'm actually thinking that. So let's do a parallel track. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know what's going on here. Did that parallel track not go down? Okay, I cannot tell if it's actually hooked up. I think it's hooked up? No, well, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna take it past this, uh, take it past the food farm. I'm gonna have a steep downhill turn, which is okay. I'm just gonna drop this depot right in downtown. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go for it. For a train? No, it's not connected. So when you hook it up, you can actually see what is connected uh, to these individual spots. Must be like a little connector. Yeah, oh, are you kidding me? That little connector is always missing. I'm gonna let him have it. I don't care. And I'm actually going to upgrade this to a terminal. Allow for faster loading and unloading, and we get more money out of the thingamajiggities. Cargo. Okay, so who needs beef? Trenton needs livestock, which I can hook up to. I can actually hook up, do a parallel track, and then run it over. Let's do that. Let's have some fun. And of course, this track does not have to be parallel. That just happened. Alright, we'll do this. Oh, did I did I make a glurf? Yep, I glurfed. Alright, let's take that. And pretty good. Let's do that. I don't wanna have I can build structures, but I really don't want to. I'm gonna go for the stockyard. Yeah, Vanderbilt's got the money for it. I've also got the money to buy his ass out, so. I'll let him have it. Because I'm gonna get it here. I'm gonna buy him out in a second anyway. 
Oh, this developed a little thing. That's fine. Okay. So, I have the money to buy out Vanderbilt. Amazingly, he has not made a move toward me yet. But, oh my god, look at the tracks here. You cannot build tracks like this in the real world. It would not work. <clears throat> Granted, I could. Actually, um, who has a demand for steel? Or who has a demand for... Who produces automobiles? There's only three automobile plants in the game. Ooh, this is great for uh, moving track. Uh, let's actually upgrade our New York to Washington train. I'm going to upgrade you to this guy. Because it can now go a heel of a lot faster. And I'm actually going to go back into this. So you, this line here, you can see what the top speed is and how it falls off. So mail, or... So mail is very fast. Passengers, once you get over three cars, you start seeing the drop-off on max speed. Um, <coughs> F freight, I think it's food freight, regular freight, and bulk freight are the three ratings that you have here. So once he gets up to speed, he's going 55. Slowing down, going through a terminal, I believe. 56 now. Manufactured goods are going to go back up again. I could put a track in Aberdeen. <coughs> Excuse me. But he's still going about 48, 50 miles an hour, so he's making some... Wow, did not actually uh, get a boost there. Alright, let's buy out Vanderbilt. Let's finish this up. Liquidate it. 2 million. So now, everything's a nice, clean map. Um, I'm thinking about actually doing a Philadelphia to Wilmington down to Dover line and then kind of wrapping everything around and connecting all these cities that um, I have destroyed with my absolute dominance of the markets. We'll bring this track around here. Uh, Aberdeen, it's still there. Um, just not sure exactly how I'm going to loop it in under my new regime. Then we'll go to Cape May. And then most likely I will go through. Yeah. I don't need to get to Vineland Coal, so I'm just going to bypass it. And now, this train line that I've built for Newark, I'm going to be able to utilize much, much better. Uh, what does Cape May produce? It has a food farm. Oh, lovely. This one right here. Uh, this one demands food. And also has a stockyard. Oh, wow. This is a, this is a food powerhouse. Oil... Goes to Philadelphia. Can't do much of that right now. Since I'm the only player now left in the game, I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm now in sandbox mode. So let's go ahead. I want to get that uh, the final objective completed, and then we'll just wrap everything up from there. I'll bring this uh, rail line across. I'll kind of curve it through here, and then bring it over to the stockyard. And then up to here, too, just in case. So we have a little freight annex. I'm just going to spend a bunch now. And Atlantic City, uh, this train is actually going to become much, much more popular with what I'm planning to do. Alright, um... Let's see, Wilmington, what does Philly require? Philly requires the oil, which I'm not which I'm not getting there right now. No biggie. Yeah, it's... Ooh, hmm. Wait a minute, I can make this happen. Okay. This will work. Trust me. And by this will work, I mean I actually have to put an annex down for this to actually work. Do I know? Okay, I don't own that furniture plant, which is fine. So I'm not going to go for it. Let's do a... So there. Clear it. Alright. So we've got that one doing that run, and now I'm going to have the stock. I'm going to have the stockyard run, picking up a bunch of food, We're running it here, clearing out here, load up, and definitely not the Pacific. We'll do the consolidation for that. Pacific's great for passengers. Beyond that, though, yeah. all right. So. I'm gonna actually double up the station in Atlantic City.
for this train in case uh, we have to double up on things. So let's create a nice little run. I can actually go... No, I can't go to New York. If I go... What's this? No, now New York is blocked off. And back in Dover, we'll dump off the food cars. We'll go back to Wilmington. So it'll go by all these stations. It'll have two and two, and then for the second half in this area, we'll have it. But this is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to also triple up the tracks here. That way the Consolidation and the Pacific are not uh, stacked on top of each other. And it would also be helpful if I didn't uh, keep doing that. I've done that twice this video, so I, mean, I rarely have this problem. Alright, so that new train already set a speed record. Ooh, this is a great one. Um, 60 with freight, but if we go into the that note that it's consistent all the way through. So I'll get much, much better freight hauling on trains where I need it. So the Baltimore Express, that was the one that I put for the, I think that was the New York, no, it wasn't the New York to Washington line. I'll be damned. Let's go ahead and upgrade you to a 462 Pacific. I think I already had one for him. Whoops. You, I'm gonna upgrade you to a consolidation because I don't need going ultra fast. This guy absolutely needs an upgrade. Uh, New York Zephyr. Yep, you're going to get upgraded. Scranton Coal Company, New York. Yep, you're getting upgraded too. Trenton Seed ingrained in Newark. I'll upgrade him to a consolidation. That one I'm okay, keeping it where it is. And the Philadelphia Zephyr, that is... There. So even though Atlantic City's not producing food, I'm still having the food cars attached. Oh yeah, I never really hooked this one up. That's fine. Increased speed and tight turns. There's nobody competing against me, so it's a $50,000 pickup. I think at this point in the game, though, a lot of... Uh, I think they more expect, okay, you're still having competition at this. I've been playing this game for so long, it's it's not a concern for me. I can just burn through things. Wow. Okay, did not realize that. I've never actually seen the number that high before for food. Um, because, obviously, there's two locations, and it looks like they're both large. Um, you actually can stack up a ton of food. Cool beans. And of course, the Dover Grain Company's just moving food to Cape May. I think I need to have this thing do more often. But right now, just waiting on... Actually, we're almost done. No, this video is almost finished. Um, yeah, so Redding is just producing cars for us, and that's it. So this is actually, if you get this event in this game, this is a great one to, like, as soon as this pops up, sell some of your stock, and then as everything plummets, because I've got 2.1 million for stock with me, very quickly it's descending. So if you sell it right away, and everybody else's stocks are going to go down too, you can easily jump in, grab up some of their shares. If you're waiting for an opportunity to buy them out, that's the best time to do it. Is And also, because you open yourself up for other players to try to buy your stock and you can just keep doing that thing when you buy them out you turn around and you have all their and you get your stocks right back and you purchase them out all right this is going to be it it's the last one we need <coughs> this is a very very profitable train
And that's it. Um, this one, you have to just... You have to just fiddle with it a little bit just to figure out where you want everything to play out. But if you can start off in Baltimore or in... I think Trenton was the other was the best was the other best starting city. If you can start in one of those two, you're in good shape. If you're starting down in Dover, you can kind of meander through Wilmington and then like swing the tracks back around to get into DC. And you can easily go through Eastern Maryland. And there is a paper mill up in Aberdeen. Oh, in this scenario, in the seed that I got for this. You can easily just do it like that. Starting up in Harrisburg is the toughest one. If you are playing this game, because Harrisburg, it's out of the way. It's out of the way of everything because I mean, you got to go Harrisburg, you got to go to York, and then swing down through Baltimore, through another competitor's tracks to get to DC. And then you got to go up toward Philadelphia, or you got to bring the tracks all the way around up into Pennsylvania, up into central Pennsylvania, essentially, to go back to eastern PA to make it happen. So, this one, you know what you have to do. To get it done. Hopefully this has been a nice little tutorial for y'all. Uh, next video, I'm actually not sure what the next one's going to be. I'll probably put it in the description or put a little clip in on this video for it. So how about I actually put a cut in here and I'll let you know what the next uh, what the next video is going to be. Just hang on a moment. I'll drop a save and we'll get out of here. Okay, so I've dropped a save state down. Obvious solution is we can just retire. Let's uh, see how we scored. And of course, you complete all the objectives. You're going to uh, go as President of the United States. But I believe if we go into the next scenario, the Midwest United States. This is actually a good one. Um, and we'll, talk, we'll do this one in the next video. I love this scenario as well. But like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out of my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next in the next video. Or if you're just here for this series next Tuesday for more Sid Meier's Earl.